Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, so now that we're done with view modes, I want to show you guys one more thing, which is how to customize your view modes. Now we can get there quickly by hitting Control J or Command J on a Mac, or we can also go up to the View menu and go down to View Options. Now what this brings up is it brings up our library view options where we can change basically different things that we see in our grid and our loop views. Now, for example, I'm going to click this show grid extras because right now I actually don't have it turned on. All I have selected right now is tint grid cells with label colors and that's why you see that this one cell right here is actually tinted red because we've applied the red label. Now if I click show grid extras, what it does is it adds all these different options and extras to the actual library view. Now I don't like to have this actually selected because it's a little bit too busy for me, but you can actually select this and customize it however you like. Typically I have it turned off completely, but let's go through some of the options that we have. Now starting with the options, we have a few different items. Starting with this show clickable items on mouse over only. And what that means is basically when you mouse over an image, it's going to show you clickable options. And check this out. You can see them all right here. If we mouse over, you can see that we can flag it. We can mark this as a, a, quick, uh, a quick collection item or we can go and click uh, rotate left, rotate right, or we have star options right here. Now those items are only showing up when we mouse over. If we want them to show up all the time, all we do is go over to this and say, show clickable items on mouse over only and deselect it. Now all these options will always be present regardless of if we mouse over them or not. All right, so I'm gonna reselect it because I don't really care to see it at all times. I think it makes it even more busy. Uh, next option we have is to tint the grid cells with the label colors. I find this very useful because we actually wanna see which items have labels applied to them. So you can see it right here. If we turn it off, then it doesn't show our label colors or the grid cells as tinted. All right, the next item we have is this show image info tool tips. And I've turned it off only for the purpose of uh, the tutorials because it, it actually pops up frequently and it's something that gets kind of annoying for the videos. So I've turned it off, but if you have it turned on, basically whenever you mouse over an image, it's gonna show a tool tip right where your mouse is, giving you some basic information on that image. Now, if you have the show grids, ex grid extras already on, this basically is gonna show you like extra things like exposure and stuff like that. I don't really find it particularly useful. I'm not usually looking for that information. If I am, I'll just look in my histogram or my metadata. So it's not a bad idea just to leave it turned off, which I'm gonna do right now. So next items that we have are the cell icons. Starting with the flags, we have thumbnail badges, unsaved metadata, quick collection markers, and this is how it comes defaulted. So if we wanna show unsaved metadata, we can click right here and it basically is gonna give us an icon that will allow us to say, this metadata has been changed in Lightroom, do you wanna save it to disk? If we say save, then what it's gonna do is save an XMP file. Now, again, we don't use XMP files typically, and I think the majority of you guys probably won't need them as well. So it's fine to have this unchecked. Um, if you do have this show grid X's uh, option selected, it's a good idea maybe show the flags, show the different thumbnail badges, um, and quick collection markers and stuff like that. Quick collection markers, by the way, are just those little circles up in the top right of the image where if you click it, it'll take it and put it in a quick collection. And we know that we can also hit B to put it into a quick collection as well. Next, we have the compact cell extras, which is all this other little information that you see, starting with the index number, with his number, rotation, bottom label, top label, everything. Even the, cus even the name right here, the copy name or file base name can be changed to something else. So you guys can customize it however you guys like. And then we also have expanded cell extras, and that's the show header with the labels. You guys can change this to be whatever you guys want. So if we don't want to show an index number, we can say none, and it'll automatically remove all of our index numbers. Uh, if we want to change the copy name or file base name to something else, like say the folder, we can choose that and it's going to show all the folders that these are in. So this just gives you extra options to be able to customize exactly how you want your grid view to appear. And it's all really straightforward and intuitive. We don't need to go over every single option. Another option we have is to show the rating and we don't actually use rating systems. So that's not something that I would use. You guys can customize this and play with it however you like. And if you ever get confused or if you ever mess it up, just go back to use defaults and it's automatically gonna switch it back to how it was. So don't be worried about switching it up however you like. Now, I don't typically use this show grid extras because it's a little bit too much on my screen. So I'm just gonna turn this whole thing off. And I just wanna see my labels with the tint grid cells with label colors, and that's it. Let's move on to the loop view options. Now in the loop view options, we have several different options as well. In loop view, if we hit I, I'm gonna kick out of here, and if we hit I, it's actually gonna cycle between two different modes of information. Well, actually there's three modes. The third mode is off, or I, you can say that's the first mode, whatever you wanna say. Uh, then we have information one, and then information two, and we're just cycling between all three of them by hitting I. So if I hit Command J again, or con well, Control J or Command J on a Mac, uh, then it pulls up our loop view options again, our library view options, and we can customize exactly how those uh, overlays look. 
So I'm going to say show info overlay and I'm going to go to info overlay one just so I can see what it looks like. And now from here we can change what we're showing just by changing these options. So let's say I want the info overlay one to show me the EXIF data. I want to see information on how this image was shot because uh, right now it currently shows it in loop info two and I want that to be the primary information. So what I would do is I just go down my pull down and I'm going to select that information that I want to see. So let's say I want to see uh, exposure and ISO. Um, and then I also want to see, we'll say resolution. Uh, where's my, there it is, megapixels. So that gives me the option to be able to customize exactly what information I'm seeing for both info overlays. And again, you cycle between those overlays by hitting I. Once again, if we want to go back to the defaults, just click the use defaults and it resets it back to how it was before. Now the loop info 2 works exactly the same. We can customize it however we want, so I'm not going to go over that. But at the very bottom we have this general option set, which gives us three additional options. The first is to show message when loading or rendering photos. And we'll see if we can get that to work. But basically how that works is if we click out of here and we click on a photo that might not have a preview rendered and we zoom in, it's going to say loading preview. Um, these all have previews loaded. Oh, there we go. See, it gives you the loading dialog box. And that's basically what that's controlling. If you want to turn that off, you can. But I find it useful because it, otherwise you zoom in on something and it's frozen and you don't know exactly what it's doing. So I just leave it turned on. All right, so let's hit Control J or Command J on a Mac to go back into our library view options. And the next option we have is to show the frame number when displaying video time. If you guys do a lot of video and you bring it into Lightroom, this is actually something that's kind of useful. And it doesn't really take up any extra processing power, so I would have that selected as well. We have one other option that's play HD video at draft quality. Now if you're running on a slower machine, you definitely want to have this option selected so that it won't bog down your machine when you're playing HD video. Uh, if you're on a faster machine, feel free to turn it off so that you can actually preview the HD video at full quality. All right, guys, so that's it for our library view options. Just know that you guys can customize these options. All you got to do to get there is to select uh, to hit Control J or Command J on a Mac or to go into your view options just right up here and go to view options right there. All right, guys, let's go on to the next tutorial.